This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Uh, for next. Okay. So teaching is my passion. That's why what are the technologies required to implement one end-to-end -end projects? Everything I'm explaining hands-on. Okay. Uh, that means what are the topics? I'm explaining these, these, these topics almost. My students already explained. HDFS, Yarn, HDS2, Pionics, Spark, Scala, Cassandra, MongoDB, Kafka, Cassandra, Spark, Streaming, Flink, Amazon Web Service, all these concepts. Okay. To implement one project, what are the technologies required? Everything I'm showing hands on. Okay. And my promise. Okay. Okay, now it's fine. Now it's fine. So it's gone. Okay, fine. Okay, what are the technologies required? Everything I'm explaining. Okay. Now I uh, please note like other trainers, I will give you job support, I will give you that one, this one, like that gambling, I'm not interested. Now, from my training, you will get only two things. One, if you have if you have two years genuine experience, how much knowledge you will get? That level of knowledge you will get in my training. Okay. That level knowledge you get in my team. That is one of my promise. Then, second, independently, independently, I can implement any big data project. You will get that confidence. You will get that confidence. That is only my promise. If you have this confidence means anywhere you can implement, anywhere you will get a confidence. Job is a very, very minimal part. The main reason if you have skills, anywhere you will get an offer. Okay. So this is my two promise. One, this one, and two, this one. Okay. So what is uh, that's why as i said earlier what are the technologies required to implement one end-to-end -end project everything i expect not only that uh based on my free space boundary i'm taking three special sections as well like uh, old students for example this Saturday, i'm planning to expand apache blue aws apache blue my students they will request it for different different type of topics old students so based on my bond width i'm taking different different type of free sections so of course anybody interested i'm not notifying you anybody interested you can attend okay these uh, type of sections aws blue athena and snowflake artificial intelligence tensor flow and other other topics based on my shoot my old students interest okay so next we can imagine. so like this and uh, other topics also i will take based on students requirement okay so so uh, that means it's a, that is also based on my bond with if i am free at the time i will take that those sections that uh, okay so like this like this i will add it okay first of all today I'm explaining what is big data, why you, or what is the future of big data, what is Hadoop, Spark, Spark, these concepts I'm explaining. Okay, first, what is big data? And what is big data means, uh, first of all, before going to big data, I want to analyze what uh, few important concepts. Please note, last 30, 40, last 30 years, two technologies creating wonders. What is that? SQL and programming. RDBMS are program. In SQL, okay, maybe MySQL, Oracle, uh, MSSQL, these three databases creating wonders. This is almost like a king. Okay, in programming languages, I think Java, .NET, Python, uh, like this, many, many other languages have happened. 
Okay, this is I think Java is king. king. Okay, so last 20, 30 years, these two technologies created wonders. That is only hope to get a job to implement anything. Okay, these two technologies created wonders last 30 years almost. Okay. Now, what happened? Everyone, that means the last 30 years, everyone lay, everyone already aware of it. Everyone learning this uh, SQL and the, uh, Java, for Java. So, many resources available in the market. That means last 30 years, everyone learning Java and SQL. So, everyone aware of it. So, many resources available. Okay, many resources available in the market. For example, I am not saying Java based and uh, SQL is based, but if you want to try, if you want to get a job as a SQL developer, that may be either Oracle or MySQL or Java developer. What happened? Many resources available. So if one organization required 10 members, okay, almost 100 members will join uh, attend uh, in that interview. Out of 100 members. 20 members, good, highly experienced, highly skilled professionals. But I want only 10 members. Finally, I filter 20 members. So remaining, remaining 10 members, I want to eliminate without with silly reasons. That's why your shirt is not good. You don't have a proper shoes. You are, uh, you don't have communication skills, your hair, uh, something is wrong, like that. With silly reasons, they will reject from that employee. They will eliminate you from that employee. That is the problem. That is the problem. That's why you will get competition from others. So you will face a lot of issues. If you, the main reason, last 20 years, many resources available. At the time, no need any new requirement. That's why my recommendation, especially freshers, don't only these technologies, SQL and programming like SQL, Oracle or MySQL or programming like Java, these technologies only for knowledge, not for job opportunities. Please note it. Okay, so only for knowledge purpose. Okay, not for opportunities. Please no job opportunities. So nowadays I will guide you. Okay, what is first of all what is big data? Why big data came into picture and other other topics I'll guide you. First of all, as I said earlier, last 20 years, 30 years, these two technologies, Java and the SQL. Let example take any SQL that may be either Oracle or MySQL or anything. Okay, last 30 years, most of the software companies, mainly last 10 years, most of the companies facing two, problem, two types of problems. Hmm. What is that? First one, storage problem. Second one, processing problem. Okay. Just two types of problems. One, storage. Second, processing problem. Storage means, okay, uh, I will get you these two problems. How, why you are getting this problem and how to solve that issue, I will tell you. Okay, first, I am explaining processing problem. What happened? Processing problem, for example, I want to process employee data. Select start on employee. Then here just you have 20 records, that's it. 20 records is not a matter. Sell a star from table name where salary is more than uh, for, okay, 40,000, like this, like this, like this. If you include this, okay. Okay, for example, more than, hey, oh, 13,000, oh, sorry.
golden thousand for investor okay like this like this like this you are crossing this rules <coughs> simple thing sell stock from taking it why this is very very small amount of data so please note if all these oracle or mysql it is intentionally done for very very small amount of data but i want to process large amount of data for example this is data 2008 in this data you have almost 8 million records 8 to 7 million records if you want to process this data it is below please check below log last line loading 4000 5000 500000 6000 like this light like this loading it will take a lot of time why Yeah, just now executed at least it will take hours more than hours if you this is only 8 million records but india population recently delhi elections i want to process at that time in delhi in india you have 1 130 crores records and in the delhi almost more than 3 crores members i think i want to process the entire 2, 2 crores i think i'm not sure exactly number i want to process that large amount of data at the time oracle or mysql java this is not supportable if you want to process okay if you are processing big amount of data you will face many problem why you are processing big amount of data that's why you are facing this problem. you are processing big amount of data okay that's why it is taking a lot of time similarly storage problem storage problem means uh it is is common nowadays especially if you are coming from uh, terra data and other technologies you all you know that what is storage problem okay uh in ignore all the software technology or uh, uh, software buzzword etc etc for like example in simple human words what happened this is your laptop local computer what is this size approximately this computer size okay uh, one terabyte okay for example in your human life ignore software words okay in your human life you like movies then what are you doing go to youtube and download different different type of videos daily two videos you are downloading two movies i like king kong and titanic download that too. tomorrow lots of things and uh, uh, either bahubali next one more movie doom 2 and some more movie like this like this like this daily you are downloading from internet then what happened here you have 1 tb daily approximately each movie 2 gb so uh, two movies approximately 4 gb at the time what happened daily 4 gb you are downloading at the time what happened within 250 days within 250 days past this expectation okay within 250 days okay within 250 days what happened 250 into 4 gb approximately 1 tb that's it cross this limitation if you want to store more than 1 terabyte is not possible at the time what are you doing i think you are using external drive i think in human terminology you are taking one more external drive store remaining movies in this hard disk okay i think after couple of after 250 days it is also past this limitation then one more hard drive one more external hard drive so here like this like this like this if you increasing this external hard drive what is the problem tomorrow as a human being human you want to identify where is my titanic movie located how to identify physically also it is difficult to recognize where is my titanic movie in this in this in this in this where is that located it is human problem real time problems okay similarly in software industry also 
what is the problem let example bank atm let example sbi what happen sbi uh, otherwise you are google pay google pay what happen every day generating many many transactions any many transactions then what happen all let example same scenario you got it approximately 500 gb sorry daily you will get it to, uh, approximately 100 gb per day SBI banking transaction. Otherwise, access uh, one minute. access bank transactions. You are storing in this server at the time 100 GB per day. Then what happened after 10 days? Cross this limitation. Okay. Then what are doing? Remaining data store one more external hard drive. Another 10 days. It is also cross this limitation after 10 days it is also for this limitation like this like this how many external hard drives you can make you will maintain okay let example maintain like this now i want to analyze the last one month progress last one month how many members transferred money how many members received money i want to analyze this data then at that time i want to analyze these three servers at the time, I want to process these three external hard drives. How it is possible? It's not possible. Okay. At the time, quarterly data, monthly data, yearly data, if you want to do it, it's not possible. Why? Either Java or SQL run within the server. Okay. Okay run within the server if you want to this is also java and sql run within the server but your requirement i want to process on the top of multiple servers in this scenario only programming now programming language is not suitable that's why that's why to solve this type of problems okay framework highly recommended Okay, to handle multiple servers. Okay, I will tell you that framework concept after five minutes. Now, this is your, first of all, what is this problem? You are getting, you are storing big amount of data. That's why you are facing this issue. You are storing big amount of data. That's why you are facing this issue. That's why you are facing. problem because of you are storing big amount of data you are storing big amount of data that's why you are facing this problem that's why you are facing this problem okay that's why this is called storage problem this is called processing problem okay the main reason yes now access bank last 20 years almost last 20 years store approximately three to three petabytes data let example last 20 years okay uh, access bank stored three petabytes data okay at the time how to process that large amount of data that is a little difficult similar that means these two problems most of the companies face for example what is this set of staff on age still it is processing okay so that is called processing problem this is called storage problem okay this is called storage and one more important thing old old data like example ten, one uh, for ten, five years back old data it is also please note in production environment one byte also very very important they are not interested to loss that one byte also okay like example i will give one scenario what is this for example nero modi applied 300 blank checks 
apply 300 blank check then that 300 transactions transactions you are storing in this server in this server how much size just it, it will take just 3 mb only just only 3 mb of files for example banking in the atm you are in bank you are depositing 100 crores at that time also just it generate only 4 kb 4 kb data if you are withdrawing 10,000, at the time also it is taking only 4 kb don't imagine you are storing 100 uh, 100 crores means uh, 10 gb data it will store don't feel like this even if you store 100 gb or 1 gb uh, sorry 100 crores or 1 pro, 1 lakh or 1 uh, 1 rupee also it is occupies only 4 kb 4 kb 4 kb but you you are applying uh, uh, that means near of body apply 300 checks here that information just it occupies 3k 3 mb space but only 3 mb 3 mb is not a matter but you lost this data you deleted this data then what happened what the value 3 mb it is very very small amount of data but what the value of that 3 mb approximately 15,000 crores these 300 checks value approximately 15,000 crores that's why a small mb also not mb kb byte also very very important in production environment they are not interested in low, lose one byte also okay that's why old data they are not deleting even ten, five years ten years hundred years also they will store that data why is that data it is very very valuable and worthful in future that data may be very very useful okay for example banking sector if you oh five years completed i will delete this data means what happened five years back data only this uh narrow only applied if you deleted that data what happened that's why old data in production environment are not interested to delete okay that's why data very very important in production environment so last 20 years especially last 10 years most of the software companies facing these two problems okay how to solve this issue how to solve this issue that means you are processing two problems big amount of data big amount of data that's why a buzzword came into picture a recognizing words came into picture that recognizing word is called big data big data is nothing but if you are facing any problem relation excuse me uh, okay i'm trying no what's up thank you bye. okay sorry so if you are facing a that means big data is nothing but it is not any database or programming language big data it is a concept a recognizing word okay what is that what is that word if you are facing any problem related to large amount of data that problems is called big data problem okay to solve this big data problem big data big data use different 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 type of technologies okay to solve this big big amount of data problems okay you are facing a lot of problem related to big amount of data to solve these big data problems big data using different 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 type of technologies to solve this problem what is the technologies Hadoop, Spark, Kafka, Cassandra, Flink, Ignite, Facebook, Hive, Feed, Kafka, okay. And vice versa. Many, many, many big data projects are available. Okay, to solve this big data problem, you are using different, different type of frameworks to solve these issues. I think now you got a clarity. What is big data? What is Hadoop and Spark? 
Big data is nothing but, you know, can you please mention who is attending? Okay. Okay, what is this? Okay. Big data is the one concept. To solve this big data problem, you are using these, these, these frameworks. Okay. Okay, fine. To solve these big data problems, you are using different different type of techniques. Okay. Now, what is that? Hadoop is a one framework. Spark is a one framework. Cassandra is a one framework. Everything is a framework, framework, framework to solve these problems. Okay. I think now you got clear blueprint. What is big data? First of all, what is big data? Clear? Still, if you want clarity, still if you want clarity i will give one example only knowledge of us what is this for example you are using agriculture inside this agriculture you are using uh, rice tomato and uh, mirchi and uh, uh, wheat otherwise mango Apple. Mm -hmm. Like this, like this, you are using different, different type of crops. Based on your requirement, you are using appropriate crops. For example, I want pizza. At the time, I think uh, vegetables and pizza bun that time. Okay. At the time, you are using appropriate crops. Same way, here, agriculture is the one buzzword. Please note, agriculture is not any. Now, crop name. Same way, big data also one buzzword like agriculture. Inside this big data, it is almost like a vegetables. How we are using crops, same way you are using framework to solve different, different type of big data problems. To solve different, different type of big data problems. You are using these, these, these technologies. Okay, now where we are using Hado, where we are using Spark, Kafka, I will guide you right now. Please note all this framework. Who is the father of all this framework? Okay. Who is the father of all this framework? Apache Software Foundation Projects. Apache Software Foundation, it is one third party organization. Okay, it is for better society, they released many, many, many open source projects, approximately 350 projects. Everything open source. Open source means everything free, 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 free. No need to, no need to pay, pay one rupee also. Everything free. For example, Apache CanCan, that is free, that is also one web server. Similarly, Hadoop, Spark, what are the technologies required? Everything open source, no need to pay one rupee also. Everything free. Okay, now, in, uh, no need to learn all these 350 open source projects. Of course, Apache Software Foundation also don't know, uh, not aware of it, all these 350. Based on your requirement, you are learning appropriate technology. What is this? Let example, airflow. Airflow, what it is? Especially, it is nothing but scheduling engine like Uji uh, or a crown job. If you want to automate anything, I want to scheduling and automation purpose, you are using airflow. So, no need to pay. scheduling okay scheduling many data pipeline this is main intention of airflow hopefully next weekend anytime i will take this airflow my old student to my old students okay this is airflow it is also free no need to pay one rupee also similarly you are looking for 
I think Hadoop now. There is Hadoop. Okay, HBase, Hive, uh, Ignite. Uh, where is Hadoop? Ah, this is Hadoop. Okay, Hadoop, Hive, HBase, or anything, everything Apache Software Foundation product. Hundred percent. Everything open source. No need to pay one rupee also. But you stuck somewhere else. Okay, when you are implementing this Hadoop project or Ignite project, you stuck somewhere. At the time, if you take, if you want something support, at the time Apache Software Foundation not giving any support. Apache Software Foundation just they will release this project. That's it. But if you want support, at the time what are you doing? Okay, at that time, that's why few third party companies came into picture. Third party companies. Okay, what is that? Just a minute. Okay. Okay, that's why few third party distributors came into picture. Okay, what is that? Just okay, few third, third party vendors. What is that? Cloud era, Quantum box. Map up. Amazon, uh, like this, if you want, just a minute, show you one minute. Okay, what is this? All these technologies. What is this? Alibaba Cloud. Haha, <laughs> it is in China. Amazon Yamma, Azure HD inside, Cloud Era, Google Cloud, this one, Heart and Bus, Mapper, Cubal, like this, like this, like this, many, many other technologies are there. Cloud Era, Heart and Bus, Mapper, Cubal, and many more. So, what it does, if you want any support, at the time, if you contact these people, at the time, they will give support. Okay. As the results, they will charge some amount. Charge some amount. They will charge some amount, and next they will give something, something, something. That's why, please note, by default, all these technology free. But if you want any support, uh, please note under uh, Hartenworks, Cloudera, EMR, everything underneath using Apache software, free open source only. No need to pay one rupee also. Okay. But if you stuck anywhere, if you want support at that time, take their help. Cloud Era help, Hardworks help, they will give support. So they will charge some amount. So this is also minimal charge. Don't worry about it. Okay. So by default, all these technologies free, 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 free. Okay. That's why these third party vendors came into picture. Ignore. Okay. Now, I will guide you. All this software simply download and you can do it everything in your local computer. No need to, no need any special requirement. And one more important thing all these technologies running in your any OS that may be either Windows, Mac, or uh, Ubuntu, or any other OS, 98% all these frameworks running in any OS, Windows, Mac, or something. It is platform independent. That's all. Okay, if you want, please check this documentation. I'm sharing in this chat box. So, to solve this problem, okay, you are using appropriate technologies to solve this big data problems. Okay, now, one more important thing I will guide you right now. 
okay one more important thing especially processing point of view what is the processing point of view please note last five years mainly processing point of view please note processing point of view you mainly four types of data available what is the first one first one is not this is not related to storage this is only processing what is that historical data or batch data either batch data or historical data at the time you are using hadu for example cba registered one police case what happened i want to inquire about uh, nero modi what happened in last 5 years 10 years at the time n like that last historical data okay next i want to process live data live data what happened nero modi is uh, share market share market always fluctuating okay every fraction of seconds at the time n like the nero modi share market i think that is gitanjali share na Okay. One minute. Geet Anjali share market is nothing but his market only. Okay. How it is uh, fluctuating? If you want to go to this link, everything you will get one idea. Geet Anjali gems. This is nothing but Nero Modi's. Uh, this one only. I want to analyze. each and fraction of second how it is fluctuating at that time live data or streaming data at the time you from from and third one i want to process machine learning machine learning means you want to train uh, you want to um, i you want to go to new york to new jersey at the time which is the best flight train uh, i just not giving any suggestions just a minute hey one minute for example short distance simple way we got you i want to try, i want to start my journey from kokarpalli to amirpet which is the best if you are going this way how much time it will take if you are going in this way how much time it will take everything it is giving recommendations and suggestions here 18 second it will take if you are going in this way in this way it will take 21 minutes if you are going in this way it will take for 10 minutes this is distance everything it is giving a recommendation so he why google map internal using machine learning so machine learning intention of the recommendations and the predictions okay what happen in the future at the time you are using mahout okay this is machine learning related technologies mahout to process large amount of data okay in case banking sector you want banking sector what happen i am not paying emi properly at the time what happen decrease civil report then what happen at the time give recommendations give credit card to this person no don't give credit card to this person why he is not paying emi properly that's why give me recommendations at the time use machine learning and the fourth one it is graphical graphical data especially graphical data analyze the relationship
ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಮ್ ಲೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಎರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ನಿಯರ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ಮೋದಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮನಿ ಬ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಮನಿ ಟು ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ರೋಕರ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ just to 1 lakh rupee for year but after nirav modi's announcement he got it 4000 crores uh, which is possible a small agriculture man or riksha wala okay riksha wala got 400 crores within 2 days how uh, it is possible immediately income tax department analyze the relationship between mla and this riksha wala this uh, this uh, share market holder and diksha wala one more person and diksha wala and like the relationships at that time okay in case there is no relationship means block that uh, account and send a notice to the diksha uh, wala okay in that scenario you are using and like the relationships at that time you are using zero zero please note all this technologies who is the father of all these technologies zero okay this one are it for me zero is nothing but graph okay this is apache zero is graph processing system please note artificial intelligence that is also written graph only okay in future so this is especially if you want to process or analyze the relationships at the end you are using giraffe okay similarly mahout mahout it is nothing but machine learning related machine learning related library similarly strong this is strong this is the real time live data real time computation processing especially live data okay that's why you are using please note now we are is 98 percentage in any sector i am not saying only this sector okay any sector you will get this this four types of data four types of this data okay so here instead of learning instead of hadoop strom mahout graph instead of using learning four technologies if you know spark everything you can do it. everything that means what are you doing in hadoop what are you doing using strom what are you doing in mahout what are you doing in giraffe everything you can do it in one within one umbrella one platform one framework that's why you are using spark that is the main intention of that is the main reason why you are looking for spark this is main reason understand why we are using spark why we are using these these technologies hello hello shubhash veera anya hello yeah okay okay fine that's why you are using the spark okay spark is a unified platform please note now it is always spark update version okay now it is what happened what is the extra advantage using spark spark is a unified platform okay so what are you doing using java sql oracle or mysql or teradata or mainframes or sap or etl or anything 
what are you doing using all these technologies? Everything, everything you can do it with the help of Spark. Okay, Varakir, Java, Python, yes, on Scala. What are you doing using all these technologies? Everything you can do it using Spark. That's and also ETLs, it is expensive. Instead of paying too much, SAP HANA, that is also expensive. Instead of paying huge amount of money, if you are using Apache Spark, what happened? Everything open source, no need to pay one rupee also. At the time, cheap and best. At the time, why should I switch to other ETL technologies or SAP or any other thing? What are you doing using SAP or ETL? Everything you can do it with the help of Spark. At the time, why I want this? That's why nowadays any new project came into picture. New project. In case old project, that old project still continuing with using same technology, no issue. But any new project came into picture means related to ETL or anything. That is new project. It is directly going to Spark. They don't prefer uh, ETL. Why ETL or SAP? What are you doing using ETL or SAP? Everything you can do it using Spark. And also Spark, it is uh, best performance and uh, it is cheap. At the time, why I want to go to ETL or SAP? That's why nowadays all new projects, everything migrating to Spark, Spark, Spark. That is the reason. For example, in our human life, if I want to explain what is smart mobile? Smart mobile is a one unified platform to solve to solve many problems. Okay, in our human life, smart mobile is a one unified platform. For example, earlier old versions, what happened? I want to make a call. Use telephone. I want to watch movie. Use TV. I want to book to I want to book reservation on flight or train. At the time, go to railway station. I want to transfer money. Go to bank. I want to listen music. Use tape recorder. Like this, like this, like this. If you instead of using all these different different type of items. If you are using smart mobile, everything you can do it. Please note, I am not saying smart mobile is a replacement of all this. Okay, smart mobile, it is extension to this all this technology, all this emission system. Similarly, Apache Spark, it is extension to the all systems. Okay, it is not replacement. That's why you are using Apache Spark. That is the reason. Okay. Clear? What I'm trying to say? Everyone, as of now, clear? Yes, Do you have sir. any doubts? Tell me. I will try my level best to explain. As of now, clear? Uh, clear. Yeah. Uh, clear. Okay, that's fine. And all these frameworks, everything open source, no need to pay one rupee also. And one more thing. First of all, what is framework I will guide you? Hadoop, Spark, Kafka, everything is open source, open source frameworks. Most of the thing, everything frameworks. First of all, what is framework? What is programming language? I will get you little bit. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. What is framework? For example, In simple word, please note there are many, many definitions, but I am explaining simple way, easy way, recommendable way, uh, layman, understandable way. I will tell you. Thank you, Allah, best part. What is framework? An essential supporting structure of building or vehicle or object or anything. Okay, what it is? For example, human framework. Otherwise, one minute. House framework. What is this house framework? 
if you want to design one, if you want to build a home, then what happened? Immediately you are not applying any cement or anything, anything. First of all, you are creating one structure to this building, one framework. That means in this building, almost you designed everything. Here, bedroom, here, kitchen, here, hall, hall one, here, bathroom, here, waiting hall, everything. You already designed one blueprint. For example, here, waiting hall, waiting hall and uh, kitchen or bathroom, washroom or balcony, everything you already define, design everything in this framework. Around this framework, what are you doing? Apply a cement or bricks and uh, other other things. Around this framework only you are doing everything. Okay, just to first design one framework. Around this framework, apply cement or glasses or something, something, something. Everything happened around this framework only. This house framework. Similarly, what is human framework? It is what is human framework? This is nothing but skeleton almost. It is defined when you are uh, when you born at the time our human framework designed here eyes here nose uh, teeth or kidneys heart brain everything it is designed one framework okay so around this framework different tissues and uh, something something it is formed and everything arranged appropriate organs arranged around this framework only okay Without this framework, it's not imagine what is our human life. So around this framework only it is defined. It is a human framework in simple words. Similarly, in any sector, framework is nothing but essential supporting structure. Okay, of anything that may be either programming language or a human life or anything. Okay, essential supporting structure. And around this supporting structure, only you are doing everything. Okay, now please note all these are hard. One more important thing each and every framework. Each and every framework internally using different different type of programming languages what is that let example if you are using if you are using python one minute anaconda anaconda it is a python framework anaconda it is a python framework Okay, this is it is distributed framework. Anaconda framework very very powerful. Okay, similarly, okay, Anaconda internally using is no Anaconda internally using Python. Python. Why? Please note any framework, it is mandatory internally using something, something programming language. Similarly, if you want a flask, otherwise, uh, many, many other, other projects. Just a minute. If you Google it, you will get many, many Python projects. Dizango. Anybody familiar? It's Dizango. That is also Python project. Okay. Design. Internal using Python. Similarly, stacks are beans or string. What these these are frameworks. Internally, these frameworks internal using Java. Similarly, uh, gender. E framework internally using PHP. Similarly, similarly, Spark. Similarly, Play. 
internal using Scala. Scala is the one programming language. So to implement any framework, I'm not saying particularly this framework. One minute. What is the most powerful framework? What is this? Angular JS. <laughs> okay, okay. This is the open source. This uh, web uh, front end tools, front end related. Okay. Uh, Angular JS, React, and these are front end uh, like uh, um, computer to PHP and uh, displaying purpose. Front end you are using these two. Like that, many, many frameworks are available. Okay. Similarly, JavaScript is one framework, one programming language, JavaScript. That JavaScript internally using AngularJS, React. One. Angular JS. These two internally using JavaScript. Okay. So in future, any program, any framework internally using something framework, something programming language. Any framework internally using something programming language. Same way, this framework, big data frameworks, how do hire to internally using internally using Java, Spark, Kafka, Fling, okay, Jipling. Internally using Scala. Scala is a one programming language. Similarly, TensorFlow, PyTorch. This is internally using Python. Hey, no, that's not important. In big data point of view, you are using Hadoop, Hive, O, HBase. Everything internally using Java. All emerging technologies like Spark. Kafka, Flink, Jipling, all these technologies internally which is Scala. Scala is a one programming language. Okay, that's why if you want to implement either Spark or Kafka, anything, you must have minimum Scala knowledge required. So, so I have one question. What's the difference between that Scala language and the Python? They are both are completely different. 98 percentage both are same only difference scala is a static language it is static and python is nothing but dynamic language okay that means it will change the data types and more okay at this stage yeah, one more important thing the, the scala it is internally using JVM Java Virtual Machine Python internally using PVM Python Virtual Machine. Okay, that is the main difference. For example, what is the difference between Windows and the Linux? I'm not saying uh, both are a little difference, they're having their own advantage. Virus free, use Linux, user friendly, use Windows. Same way. I mean, there's own advantage. In simple word, what is Scala means? Scala is nothing but Java plus plus. Means the next generation of Java is called Scala. In simple words. Okay. So that is the main difference between Scala and Java. But Python. Okay. And one more important thing, Spark by default implemented using Scala. In this framework, internally using different different type of use, different different type of APIs. What is that API? Java API, Python API, or R API. What it does? If you are writing Java code, that Java code convert into Spark understandable for me. Python code, that Python code convert into Spark understandable for me. R API that is converting to R language, uh, Spark, Spark understandable for me. That means uh, Spark internally using different, different, different type of APIs. That API is what it does converting to Spark understandable for me. That's why if you want to leave Spark, 
any one of these language i highly recommend let example spark please click spark internally support mainly these, these apis what is the java scala python r sql and other jdbc if you have any one of these language then you can implement the spark application without any platform so we don't okay. need to know java if we know the scala and python uh, no need no okay. need if you know basic requirement python anything you can do it okay uh, anything you can do it. but i am explaining scala and python why most of the companies nowadays prefer scala otherwise python but java also okay but slowly it is decreasing why java if you want to write uh, a small program it will take 100 lines but same 100 lines with the help of scala and python you can do it in just two or two, uh, five lines you can five lines and five lines everything you can do it no need to write 100 lines java it is uh, too much you want to specify data types and uh, it is uh, too long but scala it is concept like code so you can easily implement within five uh, two to five lines like python python and scala 90 percent is syntax is also same okay uh, hopefully this the friday i will guide you on python and scala a little bit in russian okay so that's why any one of these language required okay most of the members coming from sql so if you know sql that is huge plus please note nowadays in spark to be frankly spark 80 percentage you are using uh, sql just 20 percentage you are using something programming language okay in production environment simple just come come uh, i will show you hopefully this friday i will show you different different type of sample programs don't worry about it okay so so and one more important thing i am not saying spark is number one there is no competitor also nearby uh, there is evergreen i am not saying like this to be frankly compared with spark there are many many technologies came into picture after spark spark released around five years back for example what is the best competitors please don't uh, i want to as of now, this is okay. Uh, one minute. Where is this? Uh, as of now, how do spark knowledge enough? Remaining thing where we are using, I will add later. This is not a priority right now. Exactly what is the difference between Hadoop and Spark? That knowledge is. Okay. Please note. Please note. In big data, first thing introduced with framework, it is called Hadoop. After Hadoop, okay. Like example in programming languages what happened first c language after c language you got it cpp uh, sorry cpp next you got it java next you got it .NET. next python next php next javascript next r like that like that like that many many languages came into picture always c is the origin okay same way in big data what happened first introduced framework is called hadoop after hadoop uh, how came into picture cook came into picture pig came into picture Kafka came into picture cassandra and hbase came into picture next spark came into picture uh, next kafka all these technologies came into picture okay if, but in programming language c is the origin first fundamental similarly in big data how do is the first fundamental framework okay let example if you know c language you can easily understand any one of any one of this language if you know c 100 percent you can easily understand any 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 language same way if you know how do you can easily understand any one of any any one of these paper anything you can okay but few members directly without C language, a few members directly switching to Java. It is possible. I'm not saying it is impossible. Same way without Hadoop also, it is possible to switch to Spark, but not recommendable. I don't recommend it. 
Okay, so if you know how to, then you can easily understand spark. Otherwise, you'll face a lot of issues. Okay, that's why I am explaining almost all these topics. Adobe, High School, Kafka, Cassandra, all these topics, I really recommend them to implement one end-to-end -end project. Okay, now, <clears throat> okay, now, to be frankly, Spark released five years back. For example, I will give one scenario. What is the difference between C language and Java language? Only difference, main difference, oops, oops plus other libraries. Okay, that is the main difference. After touring, oops, oops concept. That is the main advantage in Java. Java highly adopted that OOPS concept. Same way in big data, what is the difference between Hadoop and Spark? In memory. In memory plus other libraries. That is the main difference using Spark. What is Spark? It is in memory, in memory, in memory. That means it is very, 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 very fast. That is the main reason. Compared with Spark, sorry, compared with Hadoop, Spark very, 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 very fast. Why it is everything in memory, in memory, in memory. Okay, how in Java you have whoops concept. Same way, in Spark you have in memory concept. Okay. After Spark, let example, let example uh, to be fancy C plus plus first introduce whoops concept. Then mostly Spark, uh, mostly Java adopted that whoops concept. That's why Java very very powerful. Similarly, after Java, Python, Dot Make, and PHP, all other programming languages adopted that whoops concept. Okay, same way what happened after Spark, many many other technologies came into picture. To be fancy. Okay, that example, what is the technology? Flink. Okay, Apache Flink. Apache Flink also, it is the best competitor to Spark. One of the best competitor to Spark. At a time, you can process streaming data, live historical data, machine learning data. What are you doing using Spark? Everything you can, you can do. It is one of the best competitors to Spark. Okay, but it will support only Python and Java. The SQL code is little bit, not too much. You can use this in big data. Okay, next, this is Flink. If you want any documentation. Okay, for example, first to introduce. That is called Hadoop. Okay. Next, Spark. This is Evergreen. Now, okay. Spark. Nowadays, a hot cake in the market, Spark. After Spark, Flink came into picture. It is almost five times powerful than Spark. And this is a Spark, hundred times so powerful, hundred times powerful than Hadoop. Okay, next Flink came into picture. This is very very powerful. Okay, next, still many other companies came into uh, other technologies like Ignite. What is Ignite? It is in-memory distributed catching platform. It is. Very, 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 very powerful. It is shaking IT industry as well. You can use Java, Scala, C, C++, C Sharp, SQL, Java, sorry, .NET, JDBC, ODBC, anything. You can do it, this uh, Ignite in both Big Data, SQL, Cloud, Artificial Intelligence, IoT, uh, anywhere, alternative to Hadoop, everything, anywhere you can use. Apache is nothing but, it is in memory, in memory distributed catch and platform. Okay, it will solve many, many problems. Apache Ignite, Ignite, it is 100 times faster than Spark. Okay, 
uh, ignite 100 times fast. But, but not only this, many, many other technologies also came, like beam, beam, uh, and many more. I don't know that uh, uh, many, many other technologies came, but nowadays, spark enough. Nowadays, spark enough. For example, in our human life, human life, I am explaining, in our human life, there is a car, car. Okay, one minute. There is a cycle. Next, there is a car. There is a train. There is a flight. There is a rocket. Which is the best? Cycle, okay. It is almost like a hadoop. It is useful when, if you want to carry only your local areas, one kilometer, two kilometers, at the time, cycle, okay, good. Okay, car, I usually in general life, 99% okay, you prefer car. Why? If you want to carry near or long, that is okay. For like example, I want to travel, I want to start from Hyderabad to uh, something Chennai or, or New York to New Jersey. At the time, half tough, far enough. Okay, it is it is general purpose. Most frequently, you are using car. Train, to be frankly, compared with car, train very very powerful and expensive, cheap and best, pollution free. But I want to travel Amir Pet to Hydra, Amir Pet to Kokatali. Or I want to travel uh, uh, Ojan Park to uh, somewhere in New York. At that time, nearest location, no need train. Train where it is in a recommendable, either New York to California or Florida or Texas. Otherwise, in India, Mumbai to Chennai, Chennai to Kolkata, Kolkata to New Delhi. At that time, okay. Kind of one of the best options. You can easily sleep and a uh, nice, comfortable journey. Okay, but a flight. For like example, I want to I want to go to Hyderabad uh, to Secunderabad. Flight to to Hyderabad to Secunderabad. No need. Flight way uh, Hyderabad to Chennai also. I don't recommend a flight. Where a flight recommendable? I want to go to Hyderabad to either Singapore or New York or New Jersey or London, this type of long distance. At the time you are using flight. I mean, pay to, I mean, pay to second or that, or uh, Chennai, this location to this location, or uh, Bangalore, this location, uh, ITPL to Whitefield, that is not recommended. Flights, flight very, very powerful, I agree. But where it is recommendable only to travel long distance. At the time you are using a rocket. It is 100 times uh, powerful than flight, 1000 times powerful than train. But nowadays, the flight uh, racket is required to go to one place to one more place. No need. Some rare cases only you are using this racket or flight. But general purpose, most frequently you are using cars in our human life. Same way, what happened in big data technologies nowadays? I am not saying uh, car is uh, better than flight. I am not saying like this. Okay, car is better than flight. I am not saying like this. Car is better than flight. Train. Car is better than racket. I am not saying like this. But as of now, general purpose car enough. Okay. Similarly, in our human in big data technologies, cycle like a Hadoop. Okay. And the general purpose at the time use spark. It is almost like a car. Train, it is almost like a flink. Flight, it is almost like a ignite. And rocket, it is almost like an artificial intelligence. Okay, no artificial intelligence with the spark, with the uh, ignite or uh, spark. Or fling, etc. etc. Okay, as of now, nowadays, general purpose car enough. I'm not saying car is better than flight. I agree, flight is number one compared with car, but where it is recommendable, some rare cases only. 
like ignite what it is it is very very powerful i agree i agree but no need that uh, ignite very very rare cases especially iot and the artificial intelligence very very petabytes of the data and it is grid computing that is one of the main grid computing it is next generation to cluster size that's why you are using ignite as of now no need ignite very very rare cases google yahoo uh, these type of techno these type of large large level companies using this ignite okay make make sense agree be my words uh, hello uh, when i have a question uh, yes so see i have read that uh, hadoop is for batch processing and spark is for real time processing so what is the difference like how it works batch processing uh, means like i am not able to get like what is uh, batch processing and what is re real time processing batch processing and streaming processing what is this meaning batch means historical data historical data means it is data it is not moving in any way let like example in your hard disk hard disk you are storing this data the data is transfer this data to from one more to one more location no that data always constant it is not moving it is not motioning from one place to one more place it is constant state state that is called batch processing batch means it is constant historical it is not possible to change but so batch processing sorry sorry to interrupt like batch processing is not like that maybe that you know how the jobs are run like a uh, individual time like uh, they have like a fixed time so they will run uh, like 10 o'clock or like 11 o'clock but the stream is streaming is like a uh, flawless data they are moving the data is moving non stop yes so data batch data what happened data it is not moving anywhere it is constant but live data what happened data it is flowing now means data always flowing from one one location to one more location we are non stop going from one place to another but batch what is like going but it's on limited time like they have like a fixed constant time exactly i do okay that's why you are using this is batch data means it is historical data data is not moving anyway but it is live data streaming data always uh, like uh, flowing manner okay let like example you click in go share market what happened immediately that data uh, based on that fluctuations it happen immediately that information forward to your mobile okay data it is moving in the form of streaming otherwise something tv tv it is live telecast something happened somewhere that data immediately it is moving to your location that's why this is called live motion streaming motion okay transfer the data to one more place to one more place otherwise banking transaction just now you ordered something you got it otp if that otp transfer from their web server to your your mobile sms then you are inserting that mobile that is called live so always data moving motion moving manner that is called live data in this scenario how do not store bolo how do only historical data data is not moving state data always constant state that is called historical data or batch data so clear so what i am asking so whatever we store in stfs this file system so that is a so if we run any job on our file system data so that is a batch processing and if we are uh, reading the logs server logs or any api logs yes so, exactly that is live Okay. okay please note one more important thing i want to explain spark core okay one minute image for example here you are uh, uh let example this is spark please note i will guide you little bit about spark and flink uh, before going to spark and flink i will guide you uh, okay little bit i will guide you spark and flink Then I will get you from scratch one more time. What is the difference between Spark? This is Spark. Spark engine. Please know. Spark core is a Spark engine. Okay. What is this? This is by default batch data processing. Batch data processing. But Spark core by default it is streaming processing engine. 
streaming processing itself on the top of this system batch data you are using different different type of libraries on the top of this spark core engine you are using different different type of libraries what is that spark ktl library spark streaming library and and mllib library or mllib library like this like this you are using many libraries what it does let example you got it live data live data that live data it is always data moving motion manner that live data wait 10 second that live data converting to spark understandable for me okay that means convert to spark understandable for me let example you are running select sharp from sql Spark don't know what is this cell star from table name. At the time, what are you doing? Spark SQL. It is one library. What it does? That SQL query is converting to Spark understandable for me. That's why you are using these libraries. Okay. Similarly, uh, in Flink, what happened in Flink? If you want one Flink ecosystem. Flink or Ignite, 90 percentage, everything same. What happened? This is also same. What it does? This is this. Mm, this is distributed streaming. Okay, this is just a minute. Done. Okay, this is distributed streaming data workflow. This is live data. On the top of this, you are using one API. Data set API, data streaming API. That means I want to process batch data. Use this. I want to process streaming data. Use this. Okay. So, okay, use this. On the top of this, you are using Flink ML, Table API, Gallery, these type of libraries. Same with Spark also. By default, that is streaming processing engine. But Spark Core, what happened? That is batch processing engine. On the top of that, you are using other 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 related libraries. Spark SQL to convert SQL queries to Spark understandable format. Spark streaming live data converting to Spark understandable format. Machine learning data converting to Spark understandable format. Everything is done. Jira, that means graph processing, graphics, graph processing engine. Spark R, directly you can use R language. Spark, anything you can do with Spark. Okay, that's why you are using. And one more important thing, Spark is not any new technology. Please note, with the all big data technologies, it is very, very old technologies only. If I want to explain, for example, try your loudest to understand. Simple way I will guide you. Understandable purpose. This is your local computer. Okay. Mm. This is your local computer. What happened? You are using Windows system. Then what happened? NTFS. It is a one file system. Or HFS, hierarchical file system, or ETC3 file system. This is one file system. What is this NTFS file system? That is, it is intentional and for any file system intentionally referred to store data. That's why you are using this file system. On the top of this, you are using OS. For example, you are using NTFS, use Windows. Windows OS, HFS, use Mac, ETC3, use Ubuntu. Like this, like this, based on this file system, you are using appropriate OS. What is the OS responsibilities? Schedule task. Allocate resources. That is OS main responsibility. Here you are using CPU. Why you are using CPU? To process data to process 
okay you are using cpu on the top of this you are using different different type of applications like a vlc media player or eclipse or any other other things you are using or calculator like this okay this is different different type of applications okay same ditto 99.9 percentage .9 big data also same what happened here you are using file system instead of uh, mpfs hfs you are using hdfs hdfs is a one file system what is that to store this data to store something large amount of data you are using hdfs on the top of this hdfs you are using yarn what is yarn yarn almost like a distributed os what is yarn responsibility same ditto schedule task and allocate allocate resources that's why you are using yarn on the top of this you are using map reduce or spark for flink for ignite for like that like that you are using what is this these are processing engines almost like a cpu why you are using to process on the top of this you are using high peak spark cascade spark streaming flink ml table api like that like that like that there are many 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 other applications or libraries you are using okay so what is hadoop in simple words hadoop means simple word hdfs yarn map reduce plus high feet school is called hadoop what is spark hdfs yarn uh, spark for plus spark as well streaming is called spark what is ignite sorry what is a flink hdfs yarn um, flink core plus table api or flink ml like this like this like this this is called flink that's why please check here one minute Yeah. Here, let example below. What is this storage? Uh -uh. What is this storage? What is storage? Storage means to store something data. One minute. This is storage. It is nothing but that may be either HDFS or any other storage. Then distributed processing that means uh, resource allocation at the time you are using uh, either yarn or mesos or any other thing it will support many other things but mainly yarn and mesos this one similarly here what this kernel kernel is nothing but processing what is that this is distributed streaming engine that's called flink port on the top of this you are using apis or libraries what is that Flink table API or Flink ML like this, like this, like this. Similarly, Spark. Spark also same. From there available, I want to check. Spark also same. Same, 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 like this. Are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? Now you got any clear idea what is different between Hadoop and Spark and Flink? Flink, I will get it later, don't worry. First of all, Hadoop and Spark only important. Okay. Yes. So if you, if you ah yes. So uh, for Spark, we need HDFS or it can run on uh, Windows or a. Please note. Please note. What is the main difference between Hadoop? Hadoop by default internally using these two, but if you want Spark, not only HDFS, you can use any storage any storage like example in spark you can use s3 
or Oracle or InnoDB you are using storage engine or any storage engine S3 or any block storage or any storage engine storage file system okay not only only HDFS it will support many things similarly in Flink not only only HDFS or not only this thing it will support extra files also file system also any other storage that may be either Kafka, Naifa, Kafka or any other storage Cassandra, HBase that is also actually storage okay that is the main difference you can use any storage any process based on your requirement okay as of now not only HDFS you can use S3 or general processing file system or standalone cluster or any other thing similarly not only yeah, you can use mesos also meso it is uh, 100 times powerful than yarn but no need as of no yarn enough okay similarly map reduce spark or spark engine this is one process engine for example in your human life i want to watch like something movie something titanic movie where is that titanic movie it is in this file system then what are you doing in our human life here this vlc media player first contact os hello os i want to watch this movie so please allocate at least 100 mb ram one four cpu like that like that it is requesting the os what is os responsibility schedule the task allocate the resources then OS will get these resources. Then what happened? Then it will load this data to CPU. CPU, what is this? You are watching that movie. Watching is nothing but processing. How you are watching with the help of VLC media player? Same bit of what happened here. You are using either high or spark SPL. Select star from tap something table name then what happened if you are running something these f12 queries how you require some amount of resources then what happened it is requesting resources at the time one gb ram one core cpu allocating these resources then what happened this is somewhere you have sales data here You have sales data here. Then what happened? This sales data load inside this either map reduce or either spark engine or either thing for anything. Something processing engine. Process here. After process, what next? Any engine that may be. Then return to high. Or return to spark SPL. Okay in that way it is processing clear what is the difference between this uh, traditional system and the big data systems only difference it is it is not distributed it is doesn't support parallelism that means what is this windows it is run on the top of only one computer one server but hdfs what it is it's run on the top of multiple servers. 10 minutes back, I said, you know, you want to store uh, one month data here, remaining data, one more, one more server, remaining data, one more server, remaining data, one more server. I want to process on the top of multiple computers and they can use either Hadoop or Spark or anything. But here, local windows, what happened? Only it, it is support only one in one server but here you can add four servers or 40 servers also you can extend these servers okay there is no any restrictions that is only difference clear hello yes sir. clear blueprint what yes. okay it yes, seems sir. same yes, sir. and one more important thing one more important thing i am not saying I am not saying Spark is the replacement of all technologies. Okay. 
anybody guaranteed an example nowadays you have 10 rupees coin okay now you have google pay anybody guaranteed google pay is a replacement of rupees either 10 rupees 100 rupees 1000 rupees you have in your account okay let example google pay okay it is ever green for example banks bank account you have in your bank account you have uh, th thousand rupees or uh, one crore rupees one lakh rupees i want to transfer this money to from one account to one more account at that time google pay is a replacement to google um, replacement to banking system system not replacement google pay just the extension extension to the existing bank accounts that's it google pay is not replacement to any banking account any one rupee also 10 rupees coin has still you have this own uh, own uh, features okay 10 rupee uh, google pay is not replacement to anything same way what happened long back at around 30 years back this varakil came into picture in Varakil, what is the problem? I want to process only structured data. You want to apply something, procedures and stores. It is it's not available. Something functions, your own functions. At the time, that is not available. That's why what happened? PLSQL came into picture. In PLSQL, what happened? PLSQL is not replacement to Varakil. It is extension. In PLSQL, you are using some stores and procedures, some extra features. So PLSQL is the extension to the Oracle. Then ETL came into picture. ETL is nothing but the extension to PLSQL. What happened in ETL, Informatica? Now what happened in ETL? You can, you can process big amount of data. Okay, that's why ETL came into play. Store and processing big amount of data from multiple databases. You can use ETL. Then, but you are processing very, very large amount of data. You are facing a lot of problem. That's why Hive and Scoop came into picture. Please note, Hive and Scoop, it is uh, next generation to ETL, but not replacement. You can process big amount of data without any problem but i want to process live data machine learning data batch data using hive everything is not possible that's why spark yes spark came into picture spark it is extension to hive and store that's why you can use live data historical data and the best performance Please note, Spark is not replacement to any technology. Spark just the extension to the existing technology. That's it. That is just the extension, not replacement. That means, same, what are you doing in Varakil? Everything you can do with Spark. But instead of using Varakil engine, for Varakil processing engine, you are using Spark engine. That's it. That is the only difference. There is no any difference. Don't imagine it is a Spark is replacement to Oracle. Spark is just the extension to the existing systems. That's it. That's why Spark came into picture. That is the power of Spark. As of now, next to five years, Spark can have no need any new technologies. Maybe after five years, artificial intelligence it is creating wonders. At the time, maybe Ignite or Flink, it is creating wonders. After five to 10 years. But uh, at the time also Spark Evergreen. Why recently Spark 3.x released? Recently, Spark 3.0 released. That is all artificial intelligence friendly. It will shake IT industry. Okay, as of now, everyone using Spark, Everyone using Spark 2.x. 
Okay, but in future, uh, I think it can be a problem for 3.0 releasing. If it is releasing, then it will take wonders in IT. So, in future, future of software industry, everything these three technologies first, Spark, second, Flink, third, Ignite. These, these three technologies creating wonders in software industry. After five years, not now. Now, spark a hot cake nowadays. As I said earlier, this is hard trying flight, how you are using it. Same way, you have spark, as of now, spark cannot to solve many, many big data problems. No need ignite or flink. Okay, I agree. Ignite very, very powerful than spark. If you want to know one minute. Okay, now spark 3.0 released recently. Okay, so it is okay, but it's not stable. Hopefully, after a couple of weeks, it is also stable. But now, now Spark 2.4 you are using mostly. Okay, that's right. First of all, as of now, clear what is big data, what is uh, Hadoop, what is Spark. If you have any doubts, I will time and level to explain. Any questions?